the Industrial Revolution, which took place from the 18th to the 19th centuries, was a period during which predominantly agrarian rural societies in Europe and America became industrial and urban. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, which began in Britain in the late 1700s, manufacturing was often done in people's homes using hand tools or basic machines. Industrialization marked a shift to powered, special purpose machinery, factories, and mass production. The iron and textile industries, along with the development of the steam engine, played central roles in the Industrial Revolution, which also saw improved systems of transportation, communication, and banking. While industrialization brought about an increased volume and variety of manufactured goods, and an improved standard of living for some, it also resulted in often grim employment and living conditions for the poor and working classes. Before the advent of the Industrial Revolution, most people resided in small rural communities where their daily existences revolved around farming. Life for the average person was difficult as incomes were meager and malnourishment and disease were common. People produced the bulk of their own food, clothing, furniture, and tools. Most manufacturing was done in homes or small rural shops using hand tools or simple machines. Okay, so let's get into some of the some of the things that we saw from the Industrial Revolution. The steam engine was also integral to industrialization. In 1712, Englishman Thomas Newcomen developed the first practical steam engine, which was used primarily to pump water out of mines. By the 1770s, Scottish inventor James Watt had improved on Newcomen's work, and the steam engine went on to power machinery, locomotives, and ships during the Industrial Revolution. Okay, so the name you want to know there really is James Watt. He's the one who gets credit for the steam engine. The transportation industry also underwent significant transformation during the Industrial Revolution. Before the advent of the steam engine, raw materials and finished goods were hauled and distributed by a horse-drawn wagons and by boats along canals and rivers. In the early 1800s, American Robert Fulton built the first commercially successful steamboat, and by the mid-19th century, steamships were carrying freight across the Atlantic. As steam-powered ships were making their debut, the steam locomotive was also coming into use. In the early 1800s, British engineer Richard Trevithick constructed the first railway steam locomotive. Right, so you can see uh, here with the Industrial Revolution, transportation is changing greatly, mostly due to the steam engine. Communication became easier during the Industrial Revolution with such inventions as the telegraph. In 1837, two Brits, William Cook and Charles Wheatstone, patented the first commercial electrical telegraph. By 1840, railways were a Cook Wheatstone system, and in 1866, a telegraph cable was successfully laid out across the Atlantic. So you can see, like, in one person's lifetime, the way that both, you know, communication had changed in ways that were previously unimaginable, uh, as well as transportation. In 1794, U.S.-born inventor Eli Whitney patented the cotton gin, a machine that revolutionized the production of cotton by greatly speeding up the process of removing seeds from cotton fiber. By the mid-19th century, cotton had become America's leading export. For the South, it meant that cotton could be produced plentifully and cheaply for domestic use and for export. For the North, especially New England, cotton's rise meant a steady supply of raw materials for its textile mills. One inadvertent result of the cotton gin's success, however, was that it helped 
strengthened slavery in the South. Although the cotton gin made processing less labor intensive, it helped planters earn greater profits, prompting them to grow larger crops, which in turn required more people. Because slavery was the cheapest form of labor, of labor cotton farmers simply acquired more slaves.